Good morning everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the craziness of how I look, I still need to do my hair. But in today's vlog, I am going to Cumbria and I'm going to be helping out to staff a pumpkin patch, which is very exciting. I did this last year, if some of you may or may not remember, but I'm going back again to help out this year. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd bring you along with me and we'll have a nice weekend out of it because I only did one day yes, uh, last year, but I'm doing the full weekend this year. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's go to Cumbria. Like glitter. Yeah. yeah. How long have you had glitter for? Three years. Wow. Hello, glitter. <laughs> Autumn comes too soon. on the slingshot so basically we've got the some of the pumpkins down here and they have to slingshot it through there they did this last year and not many people succeeded but it was but it was good fun um and then we've got the pumpkins up over in this field over here and then this is lots of activities for everyone to get on with and yeah despite the weather being a little bit um rainy and cloudy should should be a good day. lunch the first session has finished and i have mud on my face <laughs> lovely i am just heading down to the car park now because my next job is to um guide people into the car park and um check that people have paid and things before they leave so yeah the first half went really well it is a bit windy but it's not actually that cold i'm quite well covered up so yeah on to the afternoon of day one let's back together <laughs> So I've had to take my waterproof off because it's absolutely roasting. and the sun has come out. Um, but we've got a taxi, the pumpkin taxi coming down. So basically what happens when they go up the hill and pick their pumpkins, they have a number on it and then it gets delivered by Trevor here who's going to put them next to their car so they don't have to um, carry all the pumpkins down the hill and back to the car. <laughs> This is the problem um, with Applebee is I took the last clip about five minutes ago and now it is raining again so um, I should probably put my waterproof back on. Um, anyway we've come up with a little bit of a different system in terms of the pumpkins so um, we originally had Trevor dropping them off to the boots of the cars however we've had um, five or six people who have just left without paying so We'll come up with a new system now where the pumpkins are now here and we've got like a text group that um, we're going to get a text from the payment station down to here 
so we know who's paid and who hasn't and who's ready to go so um yeah hopefully this works out <laughs> is a wrap for day one so i've just got my mug of water <laughs> um my oh my knees a bit so not gonna lie but um we're done for day one gonna go and finish up and probably help tidy up in the um in the shack where like all the payments and things are and then we'll be finishing up for the day <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even Good evening, so it's about 9 o'clock now I've just come up to bed because I am so tired, like so tired Um, Of course I've got my huge blanket hoodie Um. But yeah, I'm just absolutely knackered after day after today. Um, we've got another bit of an early start, not too early. I think we're gonna we've got to be back there for um eight o'clock. I'm actually staying in my auntie and uncle's house, so um yeah, so it's which is just not far from from where the pumpkin patch is. So gonna gonna get up about seven o'clock ish, I think, um, to be back at the pumpkin patch for eight, and yeah. I'm going to head to sleep because, like I say, I'm knackered, so I will see you tomorrow. day two of the pumpkin patch um let's go see the turkeys <laughs> oh they're coming running over hello good morning hey oh they come running over there <laughs> it's like they're talking to me um, so today I think I am back on the car park this morning, um, not sure about the afternoon what's happening but we're hoping that it's not going to rain but it is forecast so it is more than likely that it is going to rain but generally we're doing good. Let me just try and show you the views without showing. We've got some good views from here in the middle of the field. <laughs> got about 45 minutes till people start arriving so we're just getting set up. Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time with stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken, misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say. just moved the slingshot um up the field a bit just because yesterday it was getting so muddy that people were just slipping over all over the place and getting really muddy so we've moved it up into a fresh piece of grass um this is the pumpkin taxi rag i don't think i've showed you this um i did last year but basically trevor who has the quad bike he comes up with a little quad bike with a trailer um and we'll take people's pumpkins back to their car because it is a little way back to the car park so um it just saves them having to carry them so this is the pumpkin taxi rank one thing i don't think i've actually mentioned about um my cousin's farm is the fact that they're really um good with sustainability and they're carbon neutral um i don't know all 
the ins and outs of it, but I know for the fact, like, for example, the pumpkin field, a lot of pumpkin patches that you'll go to, they'll just have, like, the straw around and then they'll just, quite often, will buy in the pumpkins and um, just lay them out, display them that way. But this is when they're trying to give a more kind of um, working farm vibe um, and the uh, wildflowers that have grown within the pumpkins this year and um, they've just decided to keep just because obviously there's wildlife and things in there and um, they also have their own little wildlife um, section in there which um, and then the woods and um, so everything that they do including the um, types of grass that they have and types of grass that they're planting is all relevant uh, relevant to the environment and keeping um, keeping themselves both sustainable and environmentally friendly so yeah I'm sorry I don't know much more information about it I wish I did but so I think people have started to arrive now so I'm gonna head to my station in the car park and get ready right so I'm just sat on my little station <laughs> to be honest there's not a lot for me to do until um the first lot of pumpkins come down because my sister's on guiding people in you don't need two people to help people park um and when trevor comes down with the pumpkins from the taxi rank i'm the one who puts it behind their cars um for when they want to go home but because it's still the start of the day no one's no one's ready yet so i'm just having a little little sit down so this is the first delivery of the customers pumpkins <laughs> Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to, we got nothing to lose You're looking so old, you're looking so old just heading back up for some lunch now because the first session is now done it is absolutely tipping it down <laughs> has been for the last half hour or so um but yeah fingers crossed that it doesn't stay like this for the rest of the afternoon although it is forecast too so we'll just have to cross our fingers um but yeah gonna go and have some lunch now and then it'll be on to session two it is wet it is miserable but I've got a cup of coffee. People have started arriving, so I'm happy. Lovely. Right, that is the second session done. So we are complete concluded for this year of pumpkin picking. So we just need to do a bit of tidying up, get everything sorted, and I think we're gonna have some tea and then probably head back home. So yeah it's been really fun guys the piglets are out oh. <laughs> oh so cute hi hi piggies hello Now that you got me started, I just can't stop, no 